Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm playing Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Or Code Veronica, if you want to be a purist. Uh, funny story, this is actually the first Resident Evil game I beat on my own without any assistance. And, oddly enough, this is probably tied with Resident Evil 2 as my favorite one in the entire series. Minus the acting, of course, because the acting is, a uh, bit suspect. But yeah, I recorded some of this yesterday and the uh, the uh, commentary audio didn't record. So there's another save file. Um, but that's fixed. Let's see what the options are. If there are any. Alright. Set up. Okay, no. 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 Oh, this is all we got. Okay. Uh, but anyway, let's get started. And I will say for the record that I haven't, say for yesterday, I haven't touched this game in like three years, so I'm a little rusty. Resident Evil. The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T-Virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother Chris and a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. Three months later. Your identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility 10 days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams.
So, uh, here's a pro tip. Read this manual first, because th there's two glitches because of this. Uh, one is, and I forget how you do it, but somehow you can get it. An infinite item if you glitch the game out using this play manual. Another uh, thing to take note of is a. Uh, what the hell? Okay. Another thing to take note of is uh, if you do it wrong, say you got the pistol or something, you can shoot the gun once, but then it'll act like it's out of ammo. case this prison's been taken over, troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. I apologize for any background noise. Uh, yeah, I didn't feel like plugging my... Uh, the mic I usually use up, because this uh, console's new and the PlayStation 5 only has one uh, USB slot, so. Okay, well, I got like a few questions because I'm legitimately curious, right? So, Claire infiltrated it. Headquarters of a major pharmaceutical giant, right? And I can understand the, the guards and all that stuff, but helicopters and and all that shit plus the gasoline. Was she in like the the garage area? Why would they use that? You know, I don't know. I think in the novel, like the S.D. Perry novels, there's more to it, but, and the face of it, I don't know. I forgot, like, these scenes take such a long time when her heart starts beating. Okay, so I'm probably gonna get God here a lot. Uh, see? There's Billy on fire! Really get that checked out, Bill. And now there's Larry. Harry. Kevin. Johnny, Frank, and Bobby. And they're all naked. This seems like a good old fashioned graveyard gangbang. And I'm gonna get God. Cause... See?
That's actually harder to... That area is actually one of the harder ones to dodge. about that little misunderstanding. But I thought you were another one of those mon- Shut up. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. And once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. Yeah, the acting in this game is not the greatest. Uh, it's actually safe for Allison Court who plays Claire Redfield in this game, and most of the games uh, safe for like Steph like I think it's Stephanie Panicello or something. Uh, mine with bad. Okay. Uh, she's the only one here that does an actual decent performance. This game I really enjoy. This was actually the first Resident Evil game I bought with my own money. Uh, as well as the first one I actually beat by myself. Uh, I had help with everything else. Every other game when it came to that. Because I think I was like seven when I bought this. Seven, eight. You okay? Uh, let's uh take stock here. All right, you're over there. this at your own discretion. Thank you. 
Okay, so it sounds like some fucked up shit going down. Uh, let's combine this. Oh, okay. My, uh, my earbuds were being weird, so if you, if I cut out at any point, you, you know why. Okay, uh, what you want to do is, uh, wait for, uh, grab the bullets here. zombie banging on the door here. can't really dodge all that well, uh, so it's better just to do that and reload. Now there are two way, like two uh, reasons you can use these guns, or two ways you can use these guns. One is for the dogs in the tight areas, uh, which we'll see coming up, and the other is for a boss fight. I got really lucky there when that one zombie veered off into the bunks. Gotta see where... All this game is, is just trying to dodge the zombies, man. Oh, hold up, hold up. Yeah. That's the issue, because I'm wearing earbuds to get all this done. So I don't know if, like, it cuts out, because for some reason... It's like a... Oh, uh, since I'm... Here, I'm gonna just equip this and hope for the best. And there's like a door here so you can cheagle everything, but you can't always have that. I'm just gonna walk slowly. Oh wait. Some of the zombies don't even... Burning through ammo. In these tight areas, though, this game is notorious for all of these. In these tight areas, you can't really dodge all that well. So it's... Difficult to even get headway. And here's where we are with this thing. Please There's a brick with any this, metallic items by the way. 
in the security oh. box. That I'll, I will use here in a minute. Oh, right, right, right. My bad. My bad. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Wait, what? She's wearing a belt, right? Wouldn't her belt buckle be, like, metallic? That's just a plot hole. Read this at your own pace, pause the video. And if you were paying attention, you would know that that is the briefcase that fell out of the flaming zombie. What was his name? Billy Bob? I don't fucking know. Chris Redfield. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know! What was that all about? Good question, Claire. Good question. We will leave that there for now. Uh... Because I don't know if I got the space. Because we got that, two guns. We need a side pack. So I'm leaving that there for now. Uh, wait a minute. I got an idea, actually, never mind. We don't need to do that. You see, this is what happens when, uh, when, uh, you forget things because you haven't been playing this game for so long uh, but no I I haven't played this game for like three years prior to yesterday so it's slowly gonna come back slowly so right 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 this game, I don't think anybody knew what a 3D printer was in like 99, 2000, right? This game predicted it. <laughs> you see what I mean when I go get the, uh... Go get the metal. 
or the, the alloy or whatever it is. Disappeared. One thing to note, you cannot shoot these zombies through the metal grating. Makes no sense to me, but what do I know? I'm just a I'm just a video game. You gotta save this for later in the game. Trust me, it'll come in handy. Okay, wrong way. See? Once I get a sense of direction, I'll... Once I re-memorize this layout, it'll come back. Uh, now, normally, there's a key behind that, but since I don't want to risk uh, wasting space, I'm not going to pick it up. I'm going to kill these dogs out here anyway. Uh, hold, hold on. So, what, what you want to do... Since there's dogs, I'm just gonna start up walking. Oh, really? Fucking really. That's done. These zombies respawn, by the way. That's why, uh... That's why it's like that, uh... But no, just for reference... In tight corridors, it's usually best to take out enemies instead of trying to dodge them constantly. 
constantly. I couldn't speak there for a minute. See him over there. Fuck. I'm fucking mad. <laughs> it's usually the ones you don't see that cause you the most trouble. Uh There's a first aid spray in here, or in there. But no, uh, right where that guillotine is, there is a uh, padlock key you could go to if you want to kill the dog, like if you don't want to kill the dogs, like right here. Let me get behind you. Let me show you what it is. I won't grab it, but it's right here. But it's usually best to kill the dog because it's a high traffic area because you will be coming back here and uh it's just best to kill him dead Check. What it's basically saying is that this alloy can't be detected by metal detectors. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. you want to do is uh those fuckers are banging on the window so what you want to do to uh, avoid this is take these because you can come back for them later and uh do this Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box You'll see what I'm doing here in a minute. Just use this to fix my predicament. But now you got a 3D printer. So ain't that just adorable. And now you can turn this off. Uh, Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Because you will be coming back here later. But now if you don't do what I just did to close the shutters, these guys will break through earlier than normal. I, and you can only use this trick once, I think. But no, we're taking 
everything with us because we'll need we will need the uh, fire extinguisher But anyway, yeah, uh, this game is actually considered the hardest Resident Evil because there are like some really cheap moments, especially later on in the game. Uh, reset. I, I fucked up. I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> Shit. My thumb one go. Fuck. My thumb one go. So it's like. I have cerebral palsy, and uh, what ends up happening is my thumb ends up locking up if I hold something in a weird way, and it's really annoying. Go over there, zombie, okay. I'm gonna call you Manfred. But no, it, it's really annoying because it didn't used to, like my hand didn't used to act up like that, and now it does. So, just stuff that really annoys me. Come back for that herb later. Or those are herbs later. Okay, so we're back on ground. Uh, okay, so. No, don't do that, no! Stupid thing. Stupid lady. I remember getting so mad one time because I I wanted to get through here and I thought I like when it had an angle like that I remember being a, like a little kid and thinking oh I got it you know come to find out I didn't have it and I was so mad The high traffic area. Why do you gotta have zombies here? Like literally, it it makes literally no sense. But they're there, so. Oh. 
God damn it. Okay, so we're at this palace, right? This brings back some memories. Oh, so you're not gonna grab them from that distance. Okay, I got you. Even though you damn well could, but you know. No one wants to reach. Now, I, I believe the password is. I bo oh, sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that. And teams, okay. And teams, see, four. I'll show you where to get that before I end the episode. So we're good. At least I think. Oh, wrong way. Or is it the wrong way? No, oh, yeah, it is. takes me back. Oh, I love the safe theme. This is probably the best safe theme in the entire series. And I'm not even exaggerating, it is that damn good. And it's up there with uh, Resident Evil Zeros for me. Resident Evil 2's is amazing as well. But, you know, it, it, it's not, to me, it's not really all that. Don't get me wrong, it's good. It's just personal preference. Okay, I'm gonna show you where this key card is, in case you don't know. It'd be right here, right here where the flashy thing is. Okay, so let's... 
combine these put our unnecessary items away oh by the way the knife is actually useful in this game if you're skilled enough which again I haven't played this game in such a long time I am most definitely not <laughs> But anyway, I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna call it a day. This was from my test that I unlisted, so I'm just gonna save on over. But, no, no, no. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. Uh, I'll see you guys some other time. <laughs>